If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football-themed break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, Every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, every live break spot you purchase will earn you signature club points if you are enrolled, which you can exchange for exciting UA prizes and store credit. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified, authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tell them, boys. Hello and welcome to Ultimate Autographs. I'm Common here with Colin, and we are ready for a great show. Fresh college series in the room. So many good headliners. Emmett Smith is in there. We have a quadruple signed Alabama Heisman Trophy winning helmet. That bad boy is authentic. So the Emmett Smith, DeAndre Hopkins, those are replica helmets. We got a Roger Staubach mini in there. We got a slab of Najee Harris. We have a lot of good stuff. But the Alabama Heisman helmet is an authentic helmet. So that's a lot of fun. Uh, we got the slabs still out there. Seven slabs left. Drew Brees is out there as a headliner. A lot of headliners left in the minis. Uh, a lot of good stuff in the room right now. All headliners out there in the loaded dice. Colin, I can't wait for a big show. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm good, man. Happy to be back in here after week one of a football Sunday. Super exciting. Getting back in on Tuesday. I want to hear some of their takes, how their teams did. Yes. Yeah. I'm also uh, looking at this new series, Roll Tide. I like the Ray Lewis getting the U going. Yes, yeah. Ray Lewis on the mini. That is a beautiful looking mini helmet. Uh, so yeah, great, great football Sunday. Uh, my team's won, your team won. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you don't want the news to be in the circumstances it is, but Eagles fans got to feel pretty good about that division title now that uh, Dak is hurt. And Colin, I can tell this, uh, we're going to get along. I'm a big Stephen Curry Steve Kerr, Warrior fan, uh, we're going to get along. Maybe yeah. my favorite player in the NBA, Stephen Curry. I agree. That's what so, I wasn't really big on basketball, and then I was huge Steph when he yes. was at Davidson. So wherever he was going, that was my team. That's the way to be. I swear I'm not bandwagon. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> the same way. I'm the same way. Uh, so we're going to get the show started with our dice roll, two virtual dice. Uh, we need six or higher. Good luck, folks. Let's see what we got here. Five and a five, ten on 
the dice roll. Excellent. So a lot of clicks, a lot of boxes today, hopefully. Uh, Wheel of Names. Let's see what we're chasing today. Chase item of the day. Uh, so let's see what we got here. What are we chasing? This will be close. This will be really close. Is it the slabs, the training camp? It's going to be the training camp. 17 bucks a spot. A training camp is the chase item of the day. Uh, whatever training camp uh, breaks fill up, you guys will be added on to that chase list. Uh, so that is the chase today. Uh, let me know how you guys are doing in the chat. Let me know how fantasy football week one went. Uh, I did win both of my leagues, my personal league and the UA league. And I barely won both at the sweated out uh, Monday Night Football last night. A lot of drama. Uh, when did the last jersey box go? I watched all night and didn't see it. Uh, what jersey box are you referring to, uh, Alex? Uh, we uh, had the jerseys fill up in the Snake Charmers. Uh, those filled up this afternoon. They carried over and they're full and ready for this show, sir. Uh, we are doing pick one, get three for the next jerseys, or you can pick your teams. So, Alex, let me know what number you would like in this break. Taylor as well, Michael, Chris Reitmeyer, Daniel Smith. Let me know what numbers you guys want for the Snake Charmer jerseys. There are just eight jerseys left. Alex wants 36. All right, 36. 30. Going off the ticker. We're going to randomize you guys. Ten clicks for our divisions. Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck. Oh, and actually, we did a little test before the show, mock test. So what you guys saw there on the randomizer is what we were <laughs> messing around with. Those are not your actual divisions. I apologize about that. Those were actually not the actual divisions. Uh, Michael looking for 35. Michael, 36 was called first. We go with whoever is first. But thank you, Michael, for participating in the chat. So here is the actual randomization. Uh, teaching Colin a few things. New guy here in the room, uh, showing him some things. So we're going to randomize uh, our divisions here. Our dice roll was 8 at the start of the show. 8 at the start of the show. 10 at the start of the show, rather. It was mm -hmm. 10 on the dice roll. So we'll get you guys randomized. 10 clicks. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 10. All right. Uh, Alex up top. You've got the NFC North. Uh, we got Alex in the NFC South. Taylor, NFC East. Chris in the NFC West. Uh, it's Michael, AFC North. Michael, AFC South. Daniel, AFC East. And Michael, AFC West. Uh, good luck, guys. Let's see some heat in the jerseys. We are down to seven jerseys left. A lot of good jerseys in this series. Headliners and non-headliners alike. Here's a good one. Uh, this guy isn't even a headliner, and that shows you how good this series is. We got ourselves four-time Pro Bowl receiver, five 1,000-yard receiving seasons. He's on his new team right now, Amari Cooper on the Orange Browns jersey. JSA certified Amari Cooper, AFC North. That is Michael Villarreal. Congrats, Michael. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a new customer, Mike. I don't recognize you in the breaks before. Welcome to the room, and congrats on the Amari Cooper jersey. So if that doesn't tell you uh, how good that series is, I don't know what will, because Amari Cooper uh, was not a headliner in this one. So Mr. Villarreal, uh, starting off with a nice win on the Amari Cooper jersey. Congratulations, sir. That is how it's done. That is how it's done. All right. What do we have next, guys? Uh, I think we got the college series, Colin, next. Yep, that's right. Uh, awesome first-timer, Michael. Way to start. I uh, always like to ask the new customers two questions, Colin. Yep. Uh, first and foremost, what team do you support? And secondly, uh, where did you hear about Ultimate Autographs? Where did you guys hear about Ultimate Autographs? So, fantastic. Fantastic start. Let's rock and roll in the breaks. Dean says, wish the Cowboys still had them. Uh, boy, they sure could use them. Sure could use them. 
Oh, you may mute that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where you, you got me pulled up on the yeah, screen there. Like Make sure you mute the computer. Give me one second. There we go. Uh, Detroit Lions and Michael says Facebook. Awesome. Good to hear. A lot of folks find us on Facebook, Michael. Uh, so hop in the next Jersey series. You can select the Lions with pick one, get three. There Maybe he already did. Yeah, let's. The Lions are did. selected. Perfect. Uh, Lions off to a solid start week one. I know they lost, but 38-35 uh, put up some points. DeAndre Swift looked good. Uh, so good stuff. Uh, for the Lions. Encouraging news for Cowboy fans. Uh, they're now saying Dak Prescott's injury is going to be lesser. It may yeah. not be six to eight weeks. Could be four weeks. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, I've got him on one of my fantasy teams. And also, that's not how I want the Eagles to win. You know, if we're going to take that division, I want the Cowboys at their best. And I like Dak Prescott as a player. So exactly. I hope he's going to be back. Never wish ill upon anyone as never. far as injuries go. Never, never. Uh, Alex, all headliners are pulled in the jerseys. Uh, that is partially why we have it as a pick one, get three. So you guys can select the team that you guys like uh, with the headliners gone. So uh, hop in there and keep rolling on that Snake Charmer jersey, pick one, get three. All right. College jerseys, college series is next, Colin. Yep. Uh, roll tie number one. All right. Who's this guy with a Dallas fan right now? It's it's Dean Hayes is a Dallas fan. And Alex, we got a lot of Dallas fans in here. Alex is an Eagle fan. Uh, our break room is full of Dallas fans, yeah, to be yeah. honest. Uh, so we're going to get you guys randomized for our college conferences here. Uh, I believe I am missing a name, Colin. Could be six names. I think I see five in there. Let me take a look. New series, that's right, Patrick. Brand new college series in the room. Uh, there you go. Uh, this guy is an Eagles fan, Alex. Colin's an Eagles fan like you. I'm talking about the uh, Cowboy fans watching the breaks, man. Colin's an Eagles guy like yourself. Uh, Alex is clearly not a fan of, of the boys. <laughs> saying that we're giving homeless people jobs. Oh, man. All right. It's another, uh, let me type it in. Chris Reitmeyer again. Chris Reitmeyer yeah, again? same order number. All right, perfect. I don't know why it's not going with it, but... Uh, is it the 97624? Yep. Oh, I see why it's not going in there. Let me do this. Insert one row above. Maybe, uh, make sure you put them in the right order here. I'll put them in here. Uh, I think that one row was, for some reason, just not shifted properly. Uh, okay. So, all sense. right. So, that is ready to go. Uh, we're going to go 10 clicks for our conferences. Good luck, gentlemen. Let's see some heat in the college series. I'll put this up on the randomizer uh, once we get done with this break. I'll put it up on the randomizer once we get done with the break. Oh, hold on. I see what's going on. Hold on one second. I think, I think there's just like a sow here that is just like in there but it thinks Chris is in there three times. So I'm going to, uh, we'll work on that after the show. Maybe create a fresh one like that. Don't yeah. duplicate that one. We'll delete that cell. Uh, Chris Reitmeyer is in there twice. Six clicks. Good luck, gentlemen. We got ourselves 10 clicks for our college conferences. So SEC is the one I would want. Uh, obviously, you can get something very nice. Best running back on the waiver wire, asked Patrick. I lost Elijah, and I'm first on the waiver wire. That's mm. a good question. Uh, I don't know. I didn't have any injuries. Hilliard before. had a pretty good week. Hilliard did yeah, good. If it's PPR yeah. especially. Nine and ten clicks. All right. Thomas Cox up top. He's got the ACC. Uh, we got William Stefanelli in the SEC. Eric McCartney in the Big Ten. Uh, it is James Strode, Big 12, Chris, Pac-12, and also uh, independent for Chris. So actually, I didn't uh, ask on a box number. So actually, I should have asked that first. Let me know on a box number, gentlemen. Uh, I typically ask for the box numbers before I randomize for your divisions. I did that backwards. I apologize. But I will randomize for a box right now. 
My Seahawks, my Seahawks sneak out a W last night, Tyson. That was awesome. And I'm not sure who pulled the Ricky jersey, but that was sick. Uh, Chris wants box two, though. So thank you, box Chris. Two. Box two in the first college series break uh, of the day. Uh, first of many, I think. We do have two spots to go in the slabs, two to go in loaded dice, and two to go in show me the money. So we are closing in on a bunch of breaks. Keep those orders coming. Let's keep ripping boxes. Here we go. Box two out of 35 in the college series. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Got a mini helmet in here. Uh, just to be clear, this series features mini helmets, jerseys, a few replica helmets, and one authentic. One authentic. That's the quadruple signed Alabama Heisman Trophy helmet. Uh, first one's a mini helmet. And we got ourselves a legend here. It is Drew Bledsoe on the Washington State Mini. He says, go Cougs. Drew Bledsoe, 11 on the autograph. Uh, that's going to be a Pac-12 hit. Pac-12 hit. Congratulations to Chris Reitmeyer taking home the Drew Bledsoe Mini. That bad boy is fantastic. So Drew Bledsoe. Legendary quarterback with the Patriots. Before that, he was a second-team All-American and the Pac-10 Offensive Player of the Year in 1992. I think it was the Pac-10 back then. Now it's the Pac-12. Uh, he also made the 1992 Heisman Trophy ballot. A great career in the NFL. Four-time Pro Bowler. Led the league in passing yards in 1994. 251 career passing touchdowns. Uh, more than 44,000 pass yards. 17th all-time. Gets lost in all the Brady hoopla. Mm -hmm. He did take the Patriots to a Super Bowl against Brett Favre and the Packers. They lost that one. He got there as a starter in the Super Bowl. Uh, he is also a Cowboys quarterback at one point. Uh, Drew Bledsoe, legendary player that is PSA certified on the Bledsoe Mini. Congratulations, Chris Reitmeyer. That is nicely done. Uh, Tyson Langston saying, love that helmet. Huge Cougs fan. Perfect. There you go. Uh, I won some money on Washington State this weekend. Oh, nice, man. Uh, Bet them the cover against Wisconsin. They not only covered, they won outright. So that's yeah, one yeah. that you I didn't have to sweat. So, you did lose yeah. the money. Okay. Yeah, well, it wasn't just them. I had Notre Dame, too. I had all the big, oh, uh, all the big upsets. I had, I had Notre Dame. Uh, I didn't have them losing outright, but I also bet on them uh, not covering. I bet okay. on Marshall to cover. Nice. So that went well for me. I would say so. Uh, all right, Drew Bledsoe. Good start in the college series. Legendary quarterback. Beautiful looking mini. Uh, one thing that I do want to make clear uh, about the college series, uh, just so we get it out of out of the way now, we're doing this exactly how we did our last college series. So this is how it's going to be. It is current conferences. So, for example, we have a lot of Nebraska guys in the room here. We get... Um, Amon Green, Tommy Frazier, etc. If we pull a player on Nebraska, for example, that would be a Big Ten hit. Even though those guys might have played in the Big 12, might have been the Big 8 back then. I mean, there's so much conference realignment going on. Uh, we are going based on current college conferences because as we get more active players, obviously we're going to go with the current ones. Right. Uh, but for the old school legends, it is current uh, conferences. So I'm on green would be a big 10 hit, not a big 12 hit. Uh, great debates on either side, uh, but we did do it this way, the first college series, and we want to keep it consistent for you guys. So there you go. I uh, love the Cougars too, but not the, these ones, says Alex. Okay, that's fair. Uh, which Cougars do you like? Is Houston the Cougars, I think? What other Cougars are out there? King County. Pink Cougars, <laughs> yeah. Local guys Cougar. will get it. Uh, so I'll give you guys a rundown of the break page right now. Top to bottom rundown of what we got cooking on the break page. Uh, so we got five to go in the Roll Tide College Football Mixer. Uh, we just saw Drew Bledsoe in the first helmet. Not a headliner. This is a 35-box series. Uh, we've got seven headliners in there. So 34 boxes left. Seven headliners left. Uh, NFL's all-time leading rusher. Uh, we got ourselves Emmett Smith. 
Uh, we have OJ Simpson on the USC jersey, former Heisman Trophy winner, former league MVP as well in the NFL. Roger Staubach, beautiful looking Staubach mini right there. Najee Harris on the Alabama slab. Ray Lewis, uh, he was a beast with the Ravens, a beast at the U. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins on the Clemson helmet. And that is a quadruple signed Alabama Heisman Trophy helmet. So that's got Mark Ingram, Derek Henry, Bryce Young, uh, and we have uh, Devontae Smith, the most recent one. So four Heisman winners, two running backs, a quarterback, and a receiver. Kind of crazy to think that before we started watching football, Colin, you and I, Alabama had no Heisman Trophy winners. <laughs> and they've got insane. four of them in like the last 15 years. I mean, they've got two in like the last three, I think. Yeah, or is it two in the last two, actually? I think it is two in the I think last it's, two. I think yeah. it's back-to-back, Devontae Smith uh, and uh, yeah, Mr. That would be right. Yeah, Bryce Young. So Unbelievable. All right. It's a hell of a program. It is. I mean, it's the best in the business. Yeah, hard to beat. Best in the business. Although uh, Georgia would Georgia would beg to differ after uh, last season. Uh, Alabama struggled week week two, I guess week one is the first real game against yeah. Texas, winning by one point. Bryce Young was great though. Oh, yeah, that last uh, drive was re awesome. Receivers were not getting open. Uh, he made some plays uh, to win the game for them. Uh, other series we got four to go in that college series. That is also a six spot break, so you have a one in six chance with each spot you get. Uh, we got five to go in the minis. Uh, that is. A very good mini helmet series uh, for the Lion fan who just joined. DeAndre Swift on the Flash Mini is out there. Uh, we got Terry Bradshaw, Steelers legendary quarterback. Uh, Jonathan Taylor on the Flash, led the league in rushing last year. And Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson on the beautiful camo helmet. So we are down to uh, 25 of those, 12 breaks left. Uh, we got four headliners left in the past and future minis. Uh, we've got two spots to go in the slab a dab -a doo beautiful-looking slab series. Uh, we have just two spots left. Drew Brees is out there. Seven slabs left. One of those seven is Drew Brees. Again, just to clarify, guys, Drew Brees is going to be an NFC South Saints hit. That is a Saints card, but it's him in a Chargers jersey. Uh, Matt and I, the owner, talked about uh, our boss, we're going to make that a uh, Saints hit because uh, it is a Saints card. He ju just joined the Saints. That's the card going into his Saints season. They just didn't have a jersey of him yet. Uh, so one in seven chance at the Drew Brees slab. Uh, keep those orders coming. Uh, we got 10 to go in the training camp. We are closed on the pick one, get three. Okay. Draft, undraft, make yep. sure that's just drafted. Just got it right now. Uh, so pick one, get three is coming up. <clears throat> Thank you, Colin. Uh, training camp, Carl Lewis, Julius Irving, Keenan Allen, Mike Ditka. Four headliners still out there in that training camp series. It is the chase today. You guys want to spin the wheel? We got to get that filled up. Uh, two spots to go and show me the money reps. Got to be honest, Colin. This has been a very good series as far as non-headliners. Three boxes left. Uh, we did pull the headliners, but so many good hits that aren't headliners. I can tell you guys... Whatever comes out of the next Show Me the Money, it's going to be good. We, uh, two spots to go in the loaded dice. Uh, we got ourselves Marshall Falk, O.J. Simpson, uh, Ham Lambert Russell. Three great Steeler linebackers on that Steel Curtain defense. Austin Eckler, D.K. Metcalf. Uh, we got T.O., Richard Sherman. Uh, great list of headliners. That is a 12 great series. Triple box break. One authentic, two replica helmets. Uh, you guys have technically a 7 and 12 chance at a headliner. So hop in for the loaded dice. Looking forward to getting that done. As for the pick one, get three jerseys, uh, let me head on over to uh, the list here. And actually, Colin, this is good for you uh, to see how it works on the breaker side. I want yeah. to make sure you got the producer side down. Uh, here's how this works on the breaker side. So we've got our NFL alphabetical order teams here. 49ers down to Vikings. So I will take these teams. Oh, undo here. Undo. Uh, I will copy all these teams in here. 49ers. Oh, there we go. All right, so I'm taking all the teams, guys, NFL teams. I will throw them in the randomizer, and I will start subtracting the ones you guys have selected. 
the randomizers up. You guys will see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, pick one, get three. William took the Bengals, so I'm taking the Bengals out. Goodbye, Bengals. Michael took the Bills. Bills are going off. Uh, we got Michael with the Lions. Lions are off. So you're going to get the team you picked. Uh, whatever helmet or jersey in this case comes out, uh, that is the team uh, that's going to win. Whoever has that team is going to win. It could be one of the teams you picked, or it could be one of the other three teams you get. So Vikings selected. Let's subtract the Vikings from this list. Uh, we got the Eagles. Alex taking the Eagles. Uh, Eagles are off. We've got Daniel with the Chiefs. All right, Daniel. Go Chiefs. That's my team. Looked great in week one. Five touchdown passes from Patty Ice. Thomas Cox with the Cardinals. And Colin, if you can click off that one right there, because I can't see who Michael got. Oh, Just hop out of it. Yep. You're good. Uh, Raiders for Michael. All right. Thank you, Michael. All right. So we have 10 clicks on the randomizer. We should have 24 teams left. That's what we got. We're going to go 10 clicks. Top three teams going to the first person that ordered. Top three teams going to the first person that ordered. Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, so Titans, Steelers, and Packers going to the first person. That is William. You've got the Bengals, Titans, Steelers, Packers. you got the Rams, Colts, and Browns. Uh, those guys are going to um, Michael, who, got, who has the Bills. And then Michael's got the Lions. He's getting the next three down. That is the Dolphins, Seahawks, and Cowboys. All right, Michael. Alex, you've got the Vikings. You're getting the Bucks, 49ers, and Falcons. Uh, Alex has the Eagles. Of course, he's an Eagles fan. Uh, we're He's getting the Broncos, Commanders, and Bears. Daniel's got the Chiefs. Uh, he's getting the Chargers, Ravens, and Jaguars. All right, Daniel. Thomas Cox, he's got the Cardinals. Uh, he is also getting, let's see, Jaguars was the last one. Uh, then we got the Giants, Texans, and Patriots. And finally, Michael, uh, you've got the Raiders. Uh, we got, let's see, three more for you. That is the Saints, Panthers, and Jets. So let me know on boxes, guys. Let me know on boxes. Otherwise, I can uh, keep randomizing for boxes as well. But we have just seven of these left. Next Jersey series, Alex Folkerts. He's an Eagles guy. Uh, we're going to have a quadruple signed jersey by Michael Vick. Uh, it has Donovan McNabb, uh, Ron Jaworski, and Randall Cunningham. Wow. And we have a separate Jalen Hurts jersey as a headliner as well. So two Eagle headliners in the next Jersey series. We have a straight cash homie Randy Moss jersey. It's inscribed straight cash homie. That's awesome. So a lot of good stuff. Uh, Alex wants 39. 39 going off the ticker. Thank you, Alex, in the Snake Charmer jersey. We're down to six now in the Jersey series. Here you are, sir. Alex says, now I've got to buy four slots in every box. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. He wants those Eagles. I don't blame you, Alex. That sounds amazing. All right, box 39 of 40. All right, we got a division rival. It's Clinton Portis. Uh, six 1,000-yard rushing seasons, two-time Pro Bowler. Clinton Portis, Washington jersey. Uh, that's going to be a beautiful hit. Uh, let's see who's got Washington. So I don't think anyone... Selected Washington. Who got Washington? Uh, that is the Commanders. That is Alex. So Alex is an Eagles guy. He has taken home a Washington item, Clinton Portis jersey. Very nice, Alex. Really good running back. He oh, yeah. was rock solid with the Broncos, rock solid with Washington. Uh, beautiful looking jersey. He is a certified on the Clinton Portis. Congratulations, Alex. Uh, start with the rivals, and then you can win some other stuff. Are there authentic helmets in the Roll Tide College Series or replicas? So, Matt, there is a mixture of minis, jerseys, replicas. There is one authentic helmet. So we have, like, three or four, just a, a few reps. 
Not many. Uh, the Emmett Smith is a replica helmet. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins is a replica helmet. The one authentic is four signatures, Alabama Heisman Trophy winners, Bryce Young, Mark Ingram, Derrick Henry, Devontae Smith. That is the one authentic in that series. Most of the hits are minis or jerseys. A few replica helmets sprinkled in, and that prize uh, possession, the authentic helmet of four Alabama Heisman Trophy winners. That has got to be the single best helmet we have in the room right now. Oh, yeah. Single best helmet in the room. Uh, those guys have been great in the NFL, too. I mean, Bryce Young, we'll see. Devontae Smith off to a good start. Mm -hmm. We'll see as he goes on. But Derrick Henry, probably the best running back in the NFL if healthy. Uh, and we have Mark Ingram, who's pretty good in the NFL yeah, yeah. for a while. It's kind of kind of a sleepy pick, you know what I mean? Like, he was great in New Orleans next to Alvin Kamara, even before Alvin Kamara. Absolutely. And then in Baltimore as well. There you go. And I agree. Common, we are ready on the slabs and show me the money. Slabs was done first. All right, so slab break coming up next. Slab series coming up. Uh, we've got ourselves... Michael Villarreal, Stephen Whelan, Thomas Cox, Larry Rosland, Alex Folkers, and Matthew Boyd. Uh, so let me know, gentlemen, what number you would like in the slabs. Drop me a box number. We have seven slabs left. Drew Brees is one of those slabs. So come and get him. Alex needed fire anyway, but I'll take it, he says. All right. <laughs> yeah, he, I mean, a win's a win, man. A win is a win. I always say this once. Uh, you've already entered the break. The money's already spent. You might as well win. Even yeah. if it's not a guy that you like, a team that you like, uh, it's better than not winning. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, at the very worst, somebody's going to want that jersey. You know, you can trade it off. Stephen so. Hill. If you see Stephen Hill in the chat, that's the guy who'd want it. That's the Washington fan in the room. So, Fantastic. So box number on the slabs and box number on show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the money. Uh, Alex wants three. Three in the slabs, Alex. All right, we'll do three in the slabs. Matt Boyd wants 22. Uh, Alex was first in the slabs. Number three. So we're still looking for Drew Brees. Uh, there is seven slabs left. Still looking for Drew Brees. Uh, that is going to be a Saints hit on that Drew Brees slab. Uh, again, I've been mentioning this throughout the series. If Drew Brees comes out and is a Saints hit, you guys will see the cards got the Chargers and uh, the Saints on it. But talk to my boss. Uh, I'll explain it more in detail. But just so you guys know, Drew Brees comes out, it's a Saints hit. All right, here we go. Ten clicks for our divisions. Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck. Let's see some heat. I gotta be honest with you, this whole series has been sick. Was... Just fantastic. Like, uh, Joe Montana wasn't a headliner in this series. Andrew Luck wasn't a headliner in this series. It's the non headliners have been very good as well. All right, 10 clicks. Good luck, gentlemen. We got Larry in the NFC North. It is Michael in the NFC South. It could be Drew Brees. Michael, NFC East. Uh, Alex, NFC West, Thomas, AFC North, Matt, AFC South, and Steven, AFC West. Good luck, guys. Let's see some heat. Football slab break number one of the day, box three up 25. We got ourselves one in seven chance that this is Drew Brees. Are you kidding me? It's Drew Brees. Hey. Here you go. Drew Brees <laughs> on the beautiful slab. Second all-time in passing yards and passing touchdowns. 13-time Pro Bowler. Seven times led the league in passing yards. Super Bowl champ. Uh, Super Bowl MVP, Drew Brees. So this right here, as I said, guys, this is a 2006 Fleer card. Fabrics. Drew Brees. Authentic autograph. That is a Beckett certified card. Uh, so, as I mentioned, it says New Orleans Saints on the card. That is the team we're going with. It's when he joined the Saints. There is a picture of him in a Chargers jersey, uh, but our owner and the boss, Matt, told me we're going with the NFC South for this card. I've said this repeatedly throughout this series, uh, so it's going to be NFC South 
Michael Villarreal, congrats on Indeed. the Drew Brees Saints card. Nicely done, sir. Headliner hit. Fantastic. Michael's having a hell of a first day. He won, uh, what was it, Amari Cooper? Oh, Amari now Cooper. Drew Brees. Yeah. That is fantastic, Michael. Welcome, welcome. That's how it's done. New customer mojo. Yes. New customer mojo. Absolutely. All right. Drew Brees. A lot of other good slabs out there, though, with six boxes left. A lot of good slabs. We have a Deacon Jones in there we haven't Ooh, pulled yet. That is that's a nice. guy that's in the listing as well. Uh, so Michael wants 17 for show me the money, looks like. 17 is going off the ticker. 17's not out there, Michael. But we have a ticker at the bottom of the screen that tells you what boxes are available. So show me the money. We got 21, 28, and 32 available. So if you're in that break, drop me one of those numbers. Unless Michael wanted 17 on the slabs. We all already did three. He already won Breeze. So <laughs> nothing to complain about yeah, there. No, no, so, I'd happily get overturned for that. Uh, let me know what you guys would like here. Let me know what you guys are feeling. Uh, let's do some heat. Six to go in the next pick one. Get three in the jerseys. Two to go in row tide. We got four to go in the minis. Two to go and load a dice. Uh, Dean wants 32. All right, thank you, Dean. 32 going off the ticker in Show Me the Money Replica Helmets. Fantastic. All right, so I'm going to get you guys randomized. 10 clicks for your divisions. Uh, good luck, gentlemen. Good luck. Right, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, Travis up top in the NFC North. We got ourselves Michael in the NFC South. He just won with this division. Michael NFC East. Uh, it is Dean NFC West. Kevin AFC North. Daniel AFC South. Uh, it's Dean in the AFC East and Kevin AFC West. Show me the money. Number one, two boxes left. Fresh series coming as soon as we close out these last two boxes, guys. Fresh series coming. All right. A lot of good hits in this series. I got to tell you, the non headliners are also good. Here's an example. Here's an example. Take a look at this a beautiful looking Eclipse helmet. Uh, we got ourselves the highest paid linebacker in the NFL. It's the one, the only oh. Darius Leonard. Darius Leonard goes by Shaquille Leonard nowadays as well. I think he was hurt week one, but he should be back hopefully soon from injury. Uh, four years in the NFL, three-time first team off pro, uh, three-time pro bowler, 2018 led the league in tackles, the 2018 NFL defensive player of the year. Uh, Gets paid $19.7 million. Highest paid linebacker. Uh, the more you know. Let me get his chin strap buckled up. He was so tough that he knocked out this chin strap while he signed the autographs. So that's the AFC South. That is Daniel Nelson. Congrats on the beautiful Darius Leonard. So Darius to Daniel. Nicely done, sir. Not a headliner in this series. So pretty good series. Uh, next rep series, by the way, uh, does have Eli Manning in it. Okay. So nice. that's going to be a lot of fun. Two-time Super Bowl winner. That's right. Two of the most memorable Super Bowls that I can remember. Took out Brady both times. Yeah. Both times. He's an assassin. Him um, and Nick Foles. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> the David Tyree helmet catch, in my opinion, has to be the most recognizable Super Bowl moment of all time. I, I really so. think so. Like, when you think of, like, plays in the Super Bowl... I know you probably think of the Philly special, of but, course, but, but, yeah, uh, but otherwise, <laughs> like from a neutral fan perspective, uh, that's the first thing I think of, like Super Bowl moments. Was it? Uh, yeah. Was Franco Harris in the Super Bowl too, with the helmet or the, uh, the immaculate reception? The immaculate I think reception. it was in the playoffs, AFC oh, okay. 
Might have been the championship, but AFC playoffs against the Raiders, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, so, I think that's right. That was not. That's the only one that I would say gives it a run for its money, but yeah. it's not a Super Bowl moment. So. Well, you remember the the catch, Dwight Clark with the oh, catch, yeah. but uh, that Tyree moment is the one I think of for sure. So. I think uh, Santonio Holmes too with the little the, toe tap the on the toe side. tap. Yeah. That was good. There's so many good memories. Yeah, I mean, so many. Uh, I, I think of like Tyree Kill getting that long catch for the Chiefs. Yep. Uh, Refrigerator Perry mm-hmm. getting the touchdown uh, for the Bears in the goal line as a Chicago and Kansas City fan. Uh, Vinatieri game-winning kick uh, against the Rams. Yeah. Uh, Brady's first Super Bowl. Uh, just some of the the good moments out there. Yeah. So many. So, so many, many good ones. So many good ones. Uh, so can't wait to see who's going to win the Super Bowl this year. Uh, I got to be honest with you. Uh, you know this. I'm a Chiefs fan. Uh, I I did pick the Chiefs before the season, but I was not very confident. Like I was, I'm, and I still am terrified of the Bills. Like rightfully so. Yeah. That is a fantastic team. Tom Brady always terrified of him. But after that Week One performance by Kansas City, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, they didn't uh, miss a beat. Did they, they didn't miss a beat. Patrick Mahomes uh, had five touchdown passes, 360 yards, wasn't sacked, no turnovers. I think nine different receivers. Uh, you know, the NFL made some adjustments last year. And guess what? He made adjustments late in the year. I know he played bad in the second half against the Bengals, but he's also a human being. Tom yeah. Brady's had three interception games in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. It happens. It happens. Uh, but I think Mahomes is ready. He's adjusted to the league, uh, and he's going to be fine without Tyreek Hill. It seems like, and if week one is any indication, absolutely. I mean, five touchdown passes, that's crazy. Incredible. Uh, he almost single-handedly won us the UA. Fantasy League matchup. <laughs> so, Matt Menard, Shout if you're out. watching out there, Matt, we took you down, the Big Bad Wolf. We won 138 to 133. Woo. So, whenever we lose, we give out a gift card to whoever beat us. How many points they beat us by, they get that amount in a gift card. Gotcha. So, uh, it was looking uh, after the noon games on Sunday. We were given, like, I think it was something like at one point as low as an 8% chance to win. Our wow. matchup. Wow. Uh, and that is before the afternoon window happened. Uh, Patrick Mahomes put up 34.9 points. Uh, Devontae Adams put up 30.10 mm-hmm. for us in the afternoon window. Uh, Keenan Allen, in part because of injuries, underperformed uh, for Matt Menard. And then uh, the Bronco defense underperformed for him on Monday Night Football. And yeah. Javante Williams uh, carried us to the promised land. So... Very dramatic matchup. Uh, we did win week one, 138 to 133.52. Uh, league standings right now. Uh, we got Don Beluso in first, Travis Isaacs in second, Warren third, Cody Naps in fourth. Uh, I think that is Justin is in fifth, Justin Connerth. Uh, that is all the folks who are 1 0 week one. Uh, among the 0 1 people, the toughest luck loser was actually Matt. Like, he did wow. good. I think he had the fourth most points in the league, but he played us week one, and we just got him. So, this week, we're playing Cody Neff. So, Cody, we are coming for you, Cody Neff. If you're watching out there, uh, we are coming for you, Mr. Neff. Matchup of two 1-0 teams. So, Love that. we're coming for you. I didn't feel the need to pick anyone up week one, but maybe we can, at some point between shows, confer... We do have the number one waiver spot because we oh, had yeah. we we won week one despite the last pick. That's so, crazy. Off to a good start. Yeah, we should probably take advantage of that. We can find somebody, I'm sure. We could. Uh, <laughs> Cody says Common is going down. <laughs> I knew he was watching. Uh, Cody, you're going down. Uh, we'll also have to confer on the matchup because uh, I looked at uh, the matchup for us this week, Colin, uh, and look at how close it's projected right now. We're supposed to lose. By like one point. Oh my goodness. 49% underdog. Uh, However, there's some guys on the bench who are projected to score more. So we got to have like a team meeting and talk about Josh Jacobs. Oh yeah. Uh, Because he's our slot guy. And I know at the moment uh, we have several guys on the bench projected to outscore him, including Amari Cooper, Milo Sanders, Brandon Cooks. Uh, So we got, I mean, we got Jones, Claypool, that slot spot. It's going to be a brutal decision. But Adam Smith-Schuster, uh, Mixon, Javante Williams, I think we're pretty set. Uh, 
highest score in the league week one, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, and look I mean, at that Thursday night football matchup, Mahomes and oh Herbert. Yeah, we're going to get to know right away how that matchup's going to go. That is going to be wild. Yeah, that looks like a great matchup. Cody says, I'm making moves too, though. All right, Cody, I believe it. Uh, I believe it. Maybe the Cowboys lean heavy on Zeke without uh, Mr. Prescott this week. Uh, maybe he gets more fantasy points. We'll see. Uh, we will see, Cody. We are Roll Tide ready here in just a second. All right, Roll Tide coming up, guys. Thank you very much for closing it out. Uh, Herbert's eating the Chiefs. I agree, Cody. I think Herbert's going to play great. Mahomes is going to be better, though. Yeah, that game uh, feels like it's going to be like 58 to 55. It's going to be it's, <laughs> it's going to be, be a shootout, Cody. I think Herbert is going to do fantastic. I think that Mahomes is going to do a little bit better. That's what we're hoping for. Yep, Obviously, yep. Cody's looking for the rest. Uh, three touchdowns for Herbert week one, five for Mahomes. I don't know if he's going to get to five, but my goodness. <laughs> I think he can get to three. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, he can do some numbers. He'll put up some big numbers. Let's not sell him short. He could get to five again. That is possible. I hope I so. <laughs> I hope so. If he gets to five, we're going to win. Because oh. if Mahomes had four touchdowns, we would have lost column. He won by like four and a half points. That's crazy. So we would have lost... That five touchdown performance definitely saved us. Uh, so hard carry. I like it. Gotta love it. Roll tide number two coming up. Roll tide number two coming up. Uh, I see it here. Uh, let me know on box numbers, gentlemen. Uh, and actually, Colin, if you could do me a favor, mm -hmm. um, take that roll tide and duplicate something else because. Uh, it's that oh, it's Excel that, sheet that's it's that one like that's that right. one. So maybe re like just redo it the same way. Copy roll tide, copy the divisions and everything, and re-enter those names because the third one is missing in there. I think it's just like the way the sheet is formatted. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, if you are on roll tide number two though, Colin's gonna get that fresh list ready. Uh, but let me know on a box number for roll tide number two. Uh, we are starting with the first ten available. So we just did box two. Everything else in the first 10 is available. Matt Boyd wants one. Thank you, Matt. Guessing Matt is the closer spot, looks like. So Henry didn't do anything, so I hope it's better. Uh, I have Derrick Henry on my personal team. Do you have Henry, though? Cody, you have Derrick Henry on your team? What Henry are you talking about? I don't think he has Derrick Henry on his team. I don't think so. I don't know. All right, so we'll do... Yep, Matt, we got you. He is redoing the list. There's just a little formatting issue in Roll Tide number two. Uh, he is redoing the list, and that next list will reflect your two spots. There you go, Matt. So that is the correct Roll Tide list. You are in there, Matt. The third spot and the last spot. So... Uh, just a little formatting issue. Colin got that uh, fixed up. In my other league, says Cody. I agree, Cody. I've got Derrick Henry, I think, in one of my leagues as well. Yeah, so, me too. So, box one. Box one, sir. <laughs> box one. Uh, that was probably the biggest upset this weekend. I know the Bears over the 49ers was a huge upset. Seattle over... Uh, Broncos, major upset. Definitely. But I thought the Giants over the Titans, they were down 13-0 on the road. Number one seed last year in the AFC. Uh, just a crazy, crazy comeback uh, for the New York football Giants. Yeah, it was a quick exit in my Survivor League. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Brutal tried, You know, I should have just went with the Ravens and been smart, but I tried yeah. to get a little sneaky. But I'm with you. I think that was probably the biggest upset. Seattle and Denver pretty close. I mean, there's a lot of high hopes for Denver. Yeah. The, the thing about the Giants one where I thought it was the biggest is they were on the road. Yeah. Seattle is a great home team. Definitely. So. Yeah, they show up well. Uh, Matthew Boyd, ACC. Larry, SEC. Thomas, Big Ten. Matt, Big 12. Matt, Pac-12. And Eric is the Independent. So the Independent could be Notre Dame, BYU. Also, if it's a group of five school, like not one of the Power Five conferences, we'll give that to the Independent as well. So you got box one coming up. Uh, all headliners out there in the Road Tide series. Uh, Cody, we got ourselves a Roger Staubach mini in this series, by the way, as well. So, a lot of good stuff. All right, good luck, gentlemen. Let's see what we got 
in the very, very first box in the series. First box is good. A lot of folks have been sleeping on the first one lately. Bat Boyd is not making that mistake. So this is a jersey. This is a mixture of minis, jerseys, a few replica helmets. We have a football slab, one authentic helmet. So you never know what's coming out. You never know what's coming out. Uh, we are getting a great one, though, here. It is called the Roll Tide Series for a reason. Here we go. Uh, we have Jamison Williams, the great receiver from last year, first team All American in 2021. More than 1,500 receiving yards, 15 receiving touchdowns. Actually, a pretty good autograph, too, on the Jamison Williams jersey. Uh, that is going to be the SEC. That is Larry Jensen. So, Williams. Uh, did get hurt in the national title game. Currently injured for the Lions, but uh, he'll be back soon. Uh, that is a JSA hit. Jamison Williams, uh, 12th overall pick in the last draft. So he's going to have a bright future. Congratulations, Larry Jensen. Jamison Williams. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. All right. So, so far... This series has delivered. Yeah. Drew Bletso, Jamison Williams. Uh, I was so excited to drop this series, guys. I was so excited. Uh, we just got inventory for this series. We got this built up really quickly. Got the graphics done really quickly because we were just itching to drop this college series. Uh, quadruple signed Heisman Trophy helmet uh, for Alabama is the biggest headliner. Bryce Young, Derrick Henry, Devontae Smith, and Mark Ingram. That is authentic on that one. That is the only authentic in the series. Uh, biggest headliner. Personals are available. So you guys could definitely call out a personal if you think it's not in the first 10 boxes. So, fantastic. Uh, nice series. Off to a great start. Uh, let's knock out that load of dice. Two spots to go in the dice. We are four away on the minis, six away in the jerseys, eight to go in the slabs, uh, six to go in the next college break. So keep those orders coming, guys. Uh, we'll keep ripping boxes as long as you guys are ordering. So I think Matt Boyd getting the picture. He's like, hey, guys, that college series, pretty cool. Let me <laughs> hop in there again. Uh, only 32 bucks a spot. Only 32 bucks a spot. Uh, and it's a six spot break so right if you're buying with two spots you've got a one in three chance to win mm -hmm, buying with, did. buy with three 50 percent chance you buy in with one imagine hitting uh jameson williams jersey for 32 bucks or better yet four authentic uh four signatures on an authentic helmet yeah, and options are endless very nice Jameson Williams definitely one that's just going to go up in value once he starts playing. No, no doubt. Yeah, that dude's no going to be doubt. a beast. I think. He, and you can actually see how much Alabama misses him. Yeah. Like against Texas, those receivers were not getting open. No. Bryce Young made some plays with his legs, made enough smart plays, didn't turn the ball over. Defense as usual was good, uh, but Alabama receivers were were not getting open against Texas. They clearly missed this guy. And a lot of folks say, oh, Alabama lost the national championship. It was a very close game. They were right in it. He gets hurt. It changed the game. Yeah, yeah. Changed the game in the last national title game uh, for sure. So that is a fantastic hit. Fantastic player. Larry Jensen. Nicely done, sir. I'll give you guys the top to bottom rundown. Uh, Alex, you missed a jersey coming out of the Roll Tide College Series. So you did not miss a jersey out of the jersey break. Uh, we do have jerseys, minis, replica helmets, authentics, and we have a slab in there, at least one. Uh, possible we have a football in there, too. I'm not sure. It's a it's a mixer. Right. So it's right. a bunch of different things in there in the Roll Tide College Mixer. All right, put the randomizer up so you guys see what we got going. We got four spots to go in the Roll Tide College Mixer. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, Alabama Heisman winners. Uh, that one is an authentic. The Hopkins and the all-time NFL rushing leader, Emmett Smith, uh, those are replica helmets. But the Alabama Heisman winner helmet is authentic. Ray Lewis, Roger Staubach, those guys are minis. Najee Harris, obviously a slab. Uh, O.J. Simpson, 
USC jersey. So we have other names in here. Devontae Smith is in this series. Mm. Uh, so that must be a separate Smith than this one. Yeah. Uh, not 100% sure, though. Warren Sapp is in the series. Nice. Uh, Zach Wilson, uh, number two overall pick last year, and Jameson Williams, which just pulled him. Yeah. Uh, yep. And more. And more was Drew Bledsoe, for example. So. Pretty good and more. Pretty good and more. Uh, seven spots to go and show me the money replica helmets. Uh, yes, we pulled the headliners. Two boxes left. However, we just witnessed it in the last box. Darius Leonard, not even a headliner in that series. Uh, we got eight to go in the slab. slab a uh, Great series. Just six boxes left. Uh, a lot of headliners gone, but everything has been good mm -hmm. in this slab series. Uh, six to go there as far as boxes left. Speaking of six, six left in the Snake Charmer jerseys. Amari Cooper wasn't even a headliner. We just pulled Amari Cooper. Promise you guys, a lot of good hits in the Snake Charmer jerseys. You can pick your team, too. Yep. You pick one team, get three. Say you're a Cowboys fan, select the Cowboys. Bears fan, pick the Bears, etc. If that team comes out, you automatically win. Uh, four to go in the minis. Uh, this mini helmet series is available only through Friday. So limited time availability, past and future minis. We have a past legend like Terry Bradshaw still out there. We have future stars like Zach Wilson out there. Nice. Jonathan Taylor, future and current star. Uh, led the league in rushing last year. DeAndre Swift, big time talent for the Lions on the Flash Mini. So four to go there. Uh, we got 10 to go in the training camp. Training camp is the chase item of the day. Yeah. So if you guys want to see a wheel spin, we must get this bad boy closed uh, by the end of happy hour. So Julius Irving, Carl Lewis uh, out there, Keenan Allen, Mike Ditka, uh, four headliners out there in that series. Uh, down to like 24 boxes left, I think. It's only like 17 bucks too, right? Only 17 yeah. bucks. That's a lot of good stuff. To a lot of good 17, stuff. Yeah. Uh, loaded dice, two spots to go in the dice. Uh, don't be overwhelmed by the 150 bucks. That is a triple box break. Yep. So you are paying for two replica spots and an authentic spot. So uh, what happens in some of these loaded dice crates, not all of them, obviously, but some of them, uh, you can win multiple things with the same division. Say we pull the Owens Authentic and the rep is Lawrence Taylor. You would win two things with the NFC East. So triple box break. So there you go. Matt Boyd says, I don't think I want to see any more wheel spins, LOL. Dylan spun Matt a one the other night. No way. He was on fire. Dylan's been on yeah. fire. I will say Dylan's been spinning 80s, 90s, 70s. And I say this, Matt, you were one away from 100. One and 100 oh, man. are right next to each other. Hey, look, Matt, it's still a dollar off. <laughs> it's, better than, it's better than losing. That's what I say. Yeah. yeah. Better than losing the wheel spin. So let me know what you guys want to do. We are three away on the next college series. Uh, we should get that done this show for sure. Bob Boulay hopping in. Uh, Bob, in case you just missed it, uh, Alabama Heisman helmet is the authentic. Uh, so last college series had no authentics. We have one authentic in this series. Uh, four signatures, the four Alabama Heisman uh, winners. Uh, the Emmett Smith, DeAndre Hopkins, those are replica helmets we do have that listed on the personals tab as well uh everything we have currently on the break page seven things on the break page seven things on the personals tab as well guys so keep it rolling uh let's keep the show going 456 like i said happy hour can be as long as you guys want if orders are coming we'll keep going happy hour you know in college for me it was a three-hour event uh so <laughs> I didn't even I even didn't even go there for the drinks as much as the buy one uh, get one free appetizers oh, at a that. local like college bar. Yeah. So what a time. Um, fantastic the hide over. Matt says I'm just messing around. You guys are awesome. You're good, Matt. No worries. We know you're messing. It happens. We got Michael Villarreal getting three spots in the pick one get three for the jerseys. Raiders, Lions, and Bills. We are three away. On the jerseys. Six jerseys left. 
Uh, yeah, jerseys are moving. Yeah, we're closing in. We're halfway on Passion Futures now and one away on Loaded Dice. All right, perfect, guys. Keep those orders coming. Uh, as long as orders are coming, we'll keep ripping boxes. Uh, we do have a 7 p.m. show, so typically, uh, you know, we reset at 5.30, 6. There was a night a couple weeks ago we reset at 6.30. So at 7 p.m., could be four or five-hour shows. You guys know the drill. As long as orders are flowing, we'll keep ripping boxes. Uh, but for the happy hour, it is show that we encourage orders to come in as fast as possible because we won't be on unlimited during happy hour. But I like to say happy hour for me typically is at least 90 minutes. Right. Unless the room is dead. Like yesterday was a little bit slower, which is very rare for what we've had lately. I think it was like 80 minutes yesterday. We'll be here to at least 5.30, guys. You guys want to keep ripping boxes past 5.30 during happy hour. Uh, you got to get those orders flowing. Uh, we do have three left in college, though. Three left in the jerseys, three left in the minis, one left in the load of dice. I don't see why we can't fill up all of those breaks this yeah. year. Yeah. No reason to think uh, that we shouldn't fill those up. So, a lot of folks going with the early box numbers in the college series. Jameson Williams, Drew Bledsoe, first two boxes. I'd say we're off to a good start there. Yeah, not a bad strategy going low, I would say. Not a bad strategy. <laughs> a lot of people always say the best thing has to always be at the end, and that's not necessarily no. true. Not necessarily true. Yeah, I haven't been here that long, and I can already tell you that's not the case. I've seen some really cool stuff pulled early. Early in series, yeah. no, no doubt. Headliners included. Headliners included. Uh, Matt Boyd. Uh, we here in the break room are fully transparent with you guys. So we pulled all the headliners in the jersey. Six boxes left. Uh, that is why we have to pick one, get three up. You guys can select the team you like. Uh, but the jerseys, not only the headliners, the non-headliners are pretty good. Yeah, they have like, been. Clinton Portis was with a decent hit. I, I thought that Amari Cooper was a great hit. Uh, we have some good jerseys in there. So headliners are gone, uh, but you can pick your team and maybe you get your favorite team. Maybe you get something else that's good. Yeah. So and for twenty-five dollars, man, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Uh, but all headliners out there in the college series, uh, we got. Uh, let's see, all headliners in the loaded dice, most headliners in the training camp, most headliners in the minis. So most of our series have all or most headliners. Yeah. The only series like right now, like obviously the replica helmets. There's two boxes left. Yes, we pulled the headliners. We pulled Darius Leonard. He was a good hit as well. So as soon as we close out those jerseys, we close out those replica helmets, uh, fresh series on the way, fresh headliners on the way. Uh, but as I say before, don't want to get too caught up in headliners. Like there's headliners are usually the best, but sometimes there's some hidden headliners in there that actually are better. Yeah, you know, like definitely. that Amari Cooper orange jersey, like that was fantastic. That's pretty sweet. Like, yeah. That is a headliner in many series on that Browns jersey that we just pulled. So keep it coming, guys. James Strode hopping in in the breaks. Uh, James is in for the college series. So uh, just the just the feeling that that college series. Will not be around that long. No, doesn't seem like it. Uh, six spot break, 32 bucks a spot, 35 boxes. We are down to 33 already, and this is just a happy hour show. You guys know the 7 p.m. show typically a little bit busier mm -hmm. than the happy hour show. So if we can do, I mean, we'll do this third one. I have a feeling we'll do a fourth one. Maybe we'll do a fifth. We can do four to five in the happy hour. There's no reason to think that we can't do at least 10 in the night show. Yeah. And then if we do 10 in the night show, I mean, we're like almost halfway there. So that series won't be around much longer, guys. Yeah, and the headliners are insane. And it's 35 boxes, right? 35 boxes. And the first two were Bledsoe and Jamison Williams? Pretty good start. Yeah, I'd Pretty say. Pretty good start. Uh, OJ Simpson is out there on the USA jersey. USC jersey is a headliner. Roger Staubach on the mini. We got Najee Harris on the slab card. Ray Lewis. Miami Flash Mini, Emmett Smith replica helmet, Florida Gators all-time leading rusher in NFL history. Obviously, a very good college player as well. Uh, this is the crown helmet in here. The Alabama Heisman winners. 
in case you haven't heard me say it, new people come in the room uh, in and out. Like we have some customers who watch the whole show. Most go in and out. So if I'm repeating things, that's because I want the new people in to know. Yeah. That is an authentic helmet. That is four signatures, the four Alabama Heisman Trophy winners. So this is a lot cooler, like the Oklahoma Heisman triple sign helmet we have. A lot of those guys didn't have great NFL careers. Right. These Alabama guys are modern, current guys that we all know. Bryce Young, still in college, Heisman Trophy winner last year, could be the number one pick in the draft coming up. Uh, we have ourselves Mark Ingram, really solid NFL career. Derek Henry, best running back in the NFL when healthy. And we have Devontae Smith, talented receiver on your eagle. Mm -hmm. So that is a sick helmet. Uh, it is an authentic. Most of the items in there are jerseys and minis uh we got some reps got some slabs footballs potentially as well uh in that series so that will rip this show one spot to go that's coming off the board i would like to close out the loaded dice one to go the minis three to go and the jerseys three to go so i'm gonna drop each of those links in the chat so i'll start with the co actually i'm not gonna drop the college one in because it's gonna fail Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to bother. Mm -hmm. One spot to go, that'll fail. Yeah, it's probably going to be done by the time you're done. Drop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the jerseys, I will drop oh. in. Three spots to go. Pick one, get three in the jerseys. And speak of the devil, it's closed. The college one? Yep. I knew it. All <laughs> yeah, right. Good call, Common. Uh, so three to go in the minis. I'm going to drop that in as well. Uh, and then we have one spot to go in the loaded dice. Uh, so those are all breaks that could rip during happy hour. Uh, you'll learn this, Colin. The customers want that instant satisfaction. They want the brakes breaking while they're watching. Right. So, obviously, a lot of our brakes right now are good. We'll do a lot of these tonight. But if you're looking for brakes that should fill this show, the three I dropped in should fill, uh, each with three spots or less to go. So, that's some good direction. Uh, good direction for where to go uh roll tide number three coming up uh so if you're in that break drop me a box number gentlemen drop me a box number uh we got three four five six seven eight nine ten available nice and simple one and two gone three through ten left and i'll probably bring in some more for tonight's show I'd like to give yeah. them at least ten at each time so i'll bring in at least a couple more boxes uh matt boyd wants eight my favorite number thank you matt Eight going off the ticker. I'll get you guys randomized for your divisions in uh, the next roll tide break. So let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. Matthew, Bob, James, Dave, and Larry all in here. Larry Jensen, not Larry Rosslyn. Larry, let, let us know what team you like. It's a name I don't recognize. Larry Jensen. All right, box eight out of 35 in the roll tide college series. All right, we're going to go 10 clicks for our divisions. Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck. Not our divisions, our conferences. Our conferences, that's right. I'm so used to saying divisions. These are college conferences. Yeah, it's going to keep you on your feet. Where'd you go to college? I didn't, did you go to college? I didn't even have um, to ask so you. So I'm currently going to Full Sail University. It's okay. a Dan Patrick School of Sports Casting. That's right. You did yep. mention that. But uh, I went to IPY as well. And okay. then uh, Parkland College through the University of Illinois for uh, okay. flight school. So I've been all over the place. You've been all over the place. So... You didn't really have, like, one of these teams you cheered for, though. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, did you grow up, like, Illinois for football is not Illinois. very good? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been tough. football team? I root for Illinois. I, I go through the struggle. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's so, pretty much it. <laughs> uh, I'm a huge SEC guy myself. By the way, James, ACC, Matt, SEC, Dave, Big Ten, Bob, Big 12, Larry, Pac-12, Matt, Boyd, Independent. So the Independent would be Notre Dame, BYU, in any group of five schools. Uh, but yeah, for me, I went to college at Mizzou, uh, covered some SEC while working in Arkansas and Missouri. Uh, so huge SEC guy. For sure. Illinois now has our former QB, says Bob. Must be Syracuse's former QB. Illinois' coach is also Brett Bielema. Yeah. Uh, former Wisconsin coach, and he coached at Arkansas. I interviewed Brett Bielema several times while really? I was out there working in Arkansas. Very entertaining guy. That's awesome. 
There you yeah. go. Tommy DeVito. Tommy DeVito. He's off to an all right start, too. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, they so really should be 3-0. They're 2-1 and one right now? 2-1, and one. yep. Lost Indiana. They played in that week zero game. Yeah, yeah. And then they beat Virginia. Zero. All right. You got a mini helmet coming out. Got a mini helmet coming out. And Bob knows this guy is one of the best uh, NFL players of all time. One of the best pass rushers ever. Before he was dominating in the NFL, Jack Youngblood was doing it Ooh. big in college. Jack Youngblood uh, on the Florida Gators mini. I think it says Hall of Fame 92 or i don't know what that says exactly i can't read it uh but 92 inscription florida gators mini this is uh schwartz certified actually schwartz certified uh jack youngblood 14 sacks in 1969 with florida all american in 1970 as well uh seven time pro bowler in the nfl twice of the league in sacks he is sixth all time if we look at the unofficial sack leader sixth all time pro and college Football Hall of Famer, uh, CHOF, says Matt. Okay, CHOF, College uh, Hall of Fame mm. 92. That I mean, makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. He played in the 70s. Makes sense. That is an SEC hit. Matthew Boyd, SEC, taking home uh, the nice mini on Jack Youngblood. All right. So, this is a good hit. Believe it or not, this is... The worst hit so far because Drew Bledsoe, Jamison yeah. Williams, now another good one, Jack Youngblood. So nicely done. I mean, Bob says hello, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I mean, uh, anytime you can get Youngblood on a helmet, it's pretty cool. That is <laughs> like, pretty cool. Yeah, that is a sick last name. That is a sick last name, absolutely. And we are ready for loaded dice as well. Perfect. All right, loaded dice. Drop me a crate number for the loaded dice. Triple box break. Drop me a crate number. Uh, so it's going to be two reps, one authentic coming out of loaded dice. Just 12 crates in the series. We have one through five on the ticker. One through five on the ticker. Uh, we'll give you guys at least another one, maybe a couple more for tonight's pro program. Patrick wants three. All right, thank you, Patrick. We will do three in the loaded dice. Thank you, sir. All right, first loaded dice. First loaded dice that we're doing. Uh, we do have three left in the jerseys and three left in the minis. I would like to close those out as well during this program. Yeah, we're good. Let's see which is the heavy one. Actually, I put them on your side if you can grab. Yeah. Uh, put the authentic on your side. I'll keep these two here. And I will do the authentic last. So, triple box break, loaded dice number one. Uh, looking forward to some fun loaded dice. So, I'll take all the folks in here. We'll get you randomized. Ten clicks for your divisions. Ten clicks. Good luck, gentlemen. Let's see some heat. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Dean Hayes up top in the NFC North. We got ourselves Daniel Nelson, NFC South. Jimmy Cornwell, NFC East. Jimmy, that could be T.O. James, NFC West. We got Richard Sherman. We got D.K. Metcalf. Uh, James, AFC North. Chris Reitmeyer, AFC South. By the way, James wants that triple sign Steelers helmet. He's okay. a Steelers guy. He's got the right division. Yep, there uh, he is. Chris, AFC South, could be Marshall Falk. Patrick, AFC East. And Travis, AFC West. Loaded dice, crate three coming up. Crate three. Good luck, guys. Let's see some heat. Uh, we'll start with the reps first. Uh, then we'll do the authentic last. So two replica helmets, one authentic helmet in loaded dice. All right. First rep helmet. The nice one. Uh, this team always has clean lids. Whether it's Lunars, Flashes, the standard, the Rams are always looking nice. Tom Mack, Hall of Fame 99, Pro Football Hall of Fame offensive lineman. Uh, he is an 11-time Pro Bowler, blocked for Eric Dickerson when he set that 1984 
rushing record. So NFC West, that is James Strode. Congrats, James, on Tom Mack. A nice autograph, too. Uh, Beckett certified on the Mac. Beckett QR sticker in the back as well. Nice James, says Travis Isaacs. All right, James Strode. One helmet down, two to go in the loaded dice. All right. So Authentic is going last. Authentic is going last. Uh, we will see what we got there. All right, second box in the crate. You guys are seeing how this works. There's going to be three of these. It's a triple box break. Uh, you got yourself a chance to win multiple things with one spot. Like the mini double box break, that's why it's 150 bucks. We're paying for three helmets to come out. Second helmet is nice. Uh, this is a guy that I recognize. We got ourselves Greg Olson on the Panthers. Greg Olson replica helmet. Uh, that is also Beckett certified. Three-time Pro Bowl tight end. Uh, three 1,000-yard receiving seasons, 60 touchdown catches in his career, more than 8,000 yards. Uh, he was also a Bears player. That's why I recognize him. Grew up watching this guy as a Bears fan. This is him on the Panthers, though. Daniel Nelson, NFC South, Greg Olson. Congratulations, Daniel. Nicely done, sir. Greg Olson doing a good job as a sportscaster now as well. He is. Yeah, yes, I really, absolutely. I like him. I like him, too. A uh, very likable guy he is. Very likable guy. Yeah. All right, Daniel. Go ahead. What were you going to say? Uh, just definitely one of the best tight ends, I would say, of the 2010s, early 2000s, or late 2000s. No like, doubt. Yeah. No doubt. I think the Bears kind of made a mistake getting rid of him. I mean, he had a lot left in the so. tank. I think so, too. But, you know, the Bears and offensive players, they just don't jive. <laughs> Like, anytime they get someone, like, you know, they got Moosin Muhammad. Yep, yep. He wasn't as good as he was before. Jay Cutler came in with all this hype. Like, he was all right, but it didn't quite work out. Like, Brandon Marshall was okay for a couple years. A couple years. Yeah. It just, I don't know. I think Olsen played with Marshall and Cutler, those guys. I, yeah, I think he did, too. For a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not for a long time. Uh, all right. Load of dice. Authentic coming. <laughs> Slick signature, says Travis. Absolutely. All right, here we go, guys. This is the authentic. Uh, we got seven headliners, 12 crates. Better than 50% chance. This right here is the headliner. So let's get the party started. Well, let's see if we have a headliner moment here. You know me. I love authentics. Favorite oh, yeah. thing to pull. Favorite thing to pull. And this is actually... Not a headliner, but it's a beautiful looking helmet. Holy oh, moly. Look oh. at this Titans Flash helmet. Wow. Chris Johnson, Ooh. CJ2K, one of eight guys to rush for 2,000 yards in a season. I had at least 1,000 rushing yards each of his first six seasons. JSA certified CJ2K, Chris Johnson. Beautiful, authentic, love, love. Uh, the Titans Flash. Look at that. It matches my shirt. It's beautiful. Uh, it is a blue polo Tuesday. Uh, blue, beautiful looking helmets. AFC South, Chris Reitmeyer. Congrats, Chris. Uh, this guy probably loves loaded dice more than anyone I know. Yeah, I see and, why now. And you can see why because he keeps winning and it's a great series. Uh, the only guy who might like loaded dice more than Chris is me. I love loaded <laughs> dice. It's my it's my favorite series we have here in the room. Uh, I've been pushing for more, more load of dice since the first second I saw it. Uh, so we are working on potentially trying to make this close to a staple series. Definitely going to have a lot more load of dice going forward, and that's because of awesome hits like this. Yeah, that's beautiful. Love the light blue. Absolutely. And Chris Johnson, at least growing up, I remember him being like, one of the best running backs out there every he single was. week. He was. He's very fast. Very fast. Very Elusive. Fast. 
And it's a Chris to a Chris. Chris Johnson, Chris Reitmeyer. <laughs> there you go. It was meant to be. Meant to be. Yeah, he earned the name CJ2K for sure. I love that. How often he signs that. It's just such a good inscription. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if if I if my name was CJ and I got 2,000 yards, I would sign a CJ2K <laughs> Yeah, well. who wouldn't? Uh, of course, I'm significantly less athletic than him. <laughs> uh, so that's not going to work out for me. It's that I get to talk about him, which is pretty fun. Yeah, that's cool too. You know, that was for me, the dream was growing up was to be, uh, my first dream was to be a sports athlete. Like I wanted to be a professional soccer player or something else like that. Uh, luckily, I was wise enough to realize that about eight or nine years old, I was okay, but I wasn't, you know, obviously, yeah. I realized I wasn't going to be a star. <laughs> so my dream after that was to become a sportscaster. And there I've go. done that working in local TV stations. And this is pretty much sportscasting. I, I think yeah. of it is. A sports job. We have the platform to talk sports, and I am thankful for it. A one-year anniversary today working at UA. Wow! So congrats. Yeah, thank well, that's you, awesome. Sir. One year down at Ultimate Autographs. So, uh, gonna be a, a good second year as well. Yeah, gonna be so. a good second year. I got a fresh Ultimate polo. Uh, Annette in <laughs> HR. She is awesome. Uh, she she's like your polo looks worn out. I'm like yeah. I've worked here a lot. I've got two work polos, even between both of them. They're not polos. They're T-shirts. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I'll be wearing the fresh one uh, coming up later in the week. It's going to be fun. And you got your fresh polo. Yeah, I got my first one. Well. Got my first so, one. Good stuff. Can't wait to get my next one a year from now. There you go. <laughs> Annette says, happy one-year common. That's Ditka Duo's Annette. Thank Ditka you, Annette. Duo, that's great. So she's a Bears <laughs> fan, as you can tell. Uh, Annette is in first place, I believe, in our... Uh, little confidence pool thing we do for NFL picks. She won first last year. Uh, she got some help from me last year. No help, help this year. She's still in first. Yeah, that's so, a statement right there. She is just killing it with those NFL picks. <laughs> Absolutely killing it. So uh, let's kill the break page. We knocked out an another spot in the load of dice. Uh, we knocked off two spots in the college mixer. Uh, we are three away in the jersey, still three away on the minis. So it is 519 right now, 519. Uh, we will be here to at least 530. Uh, we will reassess where we're at at 530. So I'm gonna need a shirt size, my guy. Uh, 3XL, Patrick, 3XL would be the shirt size. Uh, you know how shirts run. Sometimes I can go two or four, mm -hmm. uh, depending on how shirts run. Uh, 3XL is my official size. It's crazy thinking that because I was, I used to be XL or I was L at one point, and then you just put on the pounds. And oh, yeah. for the longest time, I was 2XL. And now it's like, and a lot of the shirts I own are 2XL. And my girlfriend gives me a lot of garbage. She's like, you don't fit in that shirt. And I'm like, come <laughs> on, that's my shirt. I've had this shirt for a while. So I bumped from 2XL to 3XL. Uh, and depending on some shirts, I like to have them loose. Yeah. So sometimes yeah. I'll get a four as well. But 3XL would be the one to get for sure. How's the new jersey box work? Uh, all right. So Devin, absolutely. Uh, Devin hasn't seen the pick one, get three. So Devin, uh, this is how pick one, get three works. So obviously you can rewind the show and see what happened earlier in the show when we did this. Uh, but basically, you pick one team and you get three others. So let's say, Devin, uh, you are uh, the NFC South, for example. Like, or you, you get the Bucks. You're a Bucks fan. So if a Bucks jersey comes out, you select the Bucks as your team, you automatically win that item. Uh, we also randomize three other teams for you. So you pick one team, you get three others. The best way to see it, to be honest, is rewind earlier in the show yeah. or watch when we do the next one. Uh, but you would get randomized three other teams. Let's say you get randomized the Lions, Jets, and Cowboys. Cowboys player comes out, you would win as well. So there you go. Devin says, well, I'm sold. That's all it takes. He wants the Bucks. Uh, we got... Uh, Patrick says, expect something soon at UA. Happy one year. Thank you, Patrick. Oh, that's nice, Patrick. Uh, Bob says, Patrick, make common a 3XL t-shirt that says on the front, my girlfriend says I have two faults. I don't listen and something else. She'll like it. 
<laughs> she will. Bob's yep. had that joke before, but uh, I agree. She would like it. So down to three in a roll tide. Uh, we are three away on the jerseys, three away in the minis. He says that every time, says Patrick. <laughs> he knows. Patrick's been watching long enough. He knows. He knows. Bob doesn't lie, though. He doesn't lie. Uh, Matt Boyd hopping in to the college series. It works with the girlfriends, trust me. All right. Bob must be speaking from experience. Yeah, that sounds like one of those, like, four out of ten times, it works every time. Four out of ten. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, my girlfriend is a little bit particular on things, but I do I do think she has a clever sense of humor. Okay. So she might like it. I think I think she she will really like the part where it says I don't listen because sometimes she tells me I don't listen enough. Yeah, yeah. No, she'd so, probably appreciate this. She would appreciate this absolutely. All right, guys, I'll uh, drop in the live break page link. Uh, let's do some more series. It is five twenty three. Uh, by five thirty, I would like to be closed on a series or within one or two spots. I'll say this: we've been three away on the jerseys and three away on the minis. For quite a bit. Yeah. So we must be at least one away to stay on for those. All right. uh, Mr. For... Butterworth has helped our, uh, our okay. cause. Two to go in the jerseys now. Uh, pretty sure uh, that we'll knock off this college uh, series. Three spots to go. Uh, three of those breaks already done this program. That is the hot series in the room. Pretty sure we'll knock that out this show. Uh, pretty confident that's going to happen. So... Keep it going, guys. Let's keep those orders coming. Uh, we can keep ripping boxes uh, as long as you guys are ordering. No, Travis, no. If you get a training camp uh, and it doesn't run this show, you would not get a spin. It's only if the chase wheel spin closes out. However, Patrick, I do have a suggestion for you. Keep this in mind. Uh, it's 10 spots, 17 bucks a spot. You buy out the entire training camp. You would then pay $170. You would win the memorabilia, and you would get a Chase Wheel Spin guaranteed because you're the only person in that break. That's true. So That's very uh, true. That is a strategy you can implement if you want a Chase Wheel Spin. Uh, let's just say that you, know, you, you, you spend $170. You win an item. You win a gift card in there. You win a Wheel Spin. You make up your money by a lot. So no, Patrick... Uh, you won't get a wheel spin unless that break closes. Right. But if you close out the entire break, you would be guaranteed the wheel spin because no one else is in there. And we would guaranteed just, an item. And guaranteed an item. So if there's never a better time to buy out the entire training camp than right now. I would say so. With yeah. it being the chase wheel spin. Uh, we have one spot to go now in the jerseys. We'll rip that jersey uh, this show. One spot to go in. The jerseys, gentlemen. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Matt Boyd hopping in. Devin Butterworth. Michael Villarreal. You guys are awesome. Keep them coming. Bob says, my favorite t-shirt is, don't mess with me. The older I get, the less life in prison is... A deterrent. <laughs> that's that's clever. That's clever. Uh, also sounds dangerous. Also <laughs> sounds dangerous. That is a dangerous way of life, definitely. Dangerous way of life. But is it true? I would say yes. I mean, there's some truth to that, no doubt. No doubt. My goodness. Uh, we got one left jerseys. I'll drop that link in. Let's get that pick one, get three closed up. Uh, so you guys can see exactly how it works. Uh, we are now down to six jerseys left. So the pick one, get three is very popular. Uh, we might keep it going for the next jersey series if you guys keep doing this. Uh, heck, we closed out the jersey. We might make it available for the rep helmets at one point. Yeah. But we'll keep rolling with that since it's working. So three left in college, one left in pick one, get three. Those two breaks should rip this program. Uh, gonna drop those in the chat for you guys. All right. Uh, so many busy days at Ultimate Autographs. We were admittedly had an off night last night. Like not as many orders last night. 
Um, and I, I was like, coming into the day, I was like, there's going to be a lot of orders today. Because, uh, you know, we, we rarely have slow days back to back. And right. like, I was like, orders will be flowing today. New college series, new loaded dice. Orders are flowing. Yes. Orders are flowing. You got a sixth sense for these things. I, I'd like to think I do, but every once in a while, the customers surprise me, uh, <laughs> usually for the better. There are some nights in here where it's like, I know we got six stuff, but these guys just are relentless. Yeah. And you witnessed it last Thursday. Yeah. That, that was, was your first fun. night where you're like, oh my goodness. Yeah. That was my, I, it was my first night what, here too. Like it was, your, it was your first night. Like, yes, I think so. Where yeah. you were just sitting alone, not mm -hmm. in the back. Um, it was a good welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I had a great time with it. So I'm hoping tonight's a lot like that. So hoping <laughs> for that. Uh, James Strode hopping in, hopped into the college mixer. So James is listening. Uh, guys, we'll keep going if you keep the orders coming. Uh, we do got to reset at some point for the 7 o'clock show, take a little bit of a break. Uh, but there are two series I would definitely like to knock out this show. A college series and the jerseys, which Bob just closed out. So how did we get those drafted up? Yep. Uh, pick one, get three jerseys sold out. You're already on top of it. Awesome. Thank you, Colin. Uh, so, drop me a number on the jerseys. We got ourselves 29, 30, 33, 34, 38, and 40 available. Six left. That's it. Six to go. Alex says lowest number. All right. Lowest number. He's looking for the lowest number available. Got it. All right. Is Alex in that break? Let me look at the pick one, get three, folks. Pick one, get three. This is in that break. All right. So uh, I'm going to randomize uh, you guys for your slots. So we prefer to get exact numbers. So hold off on that. If I don't get a box number, uh, by the time I'm done randomizing these, We'll go lowest numbers, which Alex wants. Fair. Uh, but we do prefer getting exact box numbers, guys. But Alex, if no one calls one out, uh, by the time I got your all your teams randomized, uh, we will go lowest number. Now he wants 29. Perfect. So 29. He's just making it easy for me. 29 off the ticker. We will do 29. 29 it is. All right. All righty. Get you guys set up for your divisions. Let's see some heat. Snake Charmer jerseys. A perfect example of a series where we have some good non-headliners out there as well. Mm -hmm. So they're catching on. I think all it took was them to see, hey, I can get my team, you know? Yeah. That's all it took. Uh, so Alex, Vikings, and Eagles, they're getting subtracted. Uh, we got ourselves Michael with the Raiders. Raiders coming off. Michael with the Lions. A lot of Michael in here. Michael's got the Bills as well. Right. You got Devin with the Bucks. All right, of course. Of course. <laughs> no questions asked on that one. Matt with the Titans. And if you can hop off. Bob's team in there as oh, well. Yeah, my bad. You're good. That. Uh, and then Bob's got the Chargers. So Bob is, Bob is like a, that's like his adopted team. He's a Giants fan. He's a memorabilia fan, but he's so big on Justin Herbert that he just, I don't know. Bob likes the Chargers these days. I feel, I feel like that's his team. Bob and I will go at it on Thursday. Chief Chargers. Oh yeah. We'll be going at it. All right, 10 clicks, guys. Good luck, gentlemen. 10 clicks. Let's see what other three teams you guys are getting. 9 and 10. All right. Bears, Cardinals, Cowboys. Top three going to Alex, who had the top spot. We got Alex with the Eagles. He's getting the Dolphins, Seahawks, and Bengals. Michael's got the Raiders. He's getting the Panthers, Rams, and Colts. Uh, Michael with the Lions. He is also getting the Steelers, Ravens, and Jaguars. Uh, Chargers will be without Keenan Allen. Tough to replace. I agree. I agree. 
Uh, Keenan Allen getting hurt early in that game. Again, I don't wish injuries upon anyone, but I will say it did help us in fantasy. Yeah. No question about that. Uh, all right. Falcons, Texans, and Jets uh, going to Michael as well. Then Devin's got the Bucks. Devin, you are getting the next three teams. That would be the Browns, Patriots, and Saints. All right, Devin. Uh, Matthew Boyd, you've got the Titans. You're getting the Commanders, Giants, and Chiefs. And finally, Bob Boulay, you've got the Chargers. You're getting the Broncos, Packers, and 49ers. So let's see what comes out of a box 29 in the Snake Charmer jerseys. Box 29, what could we have in here? <laughs> All right. Got a pro football Hall of Fame tight end. Jackie Smith played with the Cardinals in the 60s and 70s. Uh, five time Pro Bowler, four time second team off pro. Uh, Jackie Smith, Beckett certified on the jersey. Uh, so that is going to go to uh, St. Louis Cardinals. So, that bad boy is going to, uh, I think it's the Rams, right? Uh, the Rams were in St. Louis. So, it's going to be a St. Louis Rams hit. Uh, Matt, if you're watching, let me know. Cardinals, St. Louis Cardinals. They're the Arizona Cardinals, but did the St. Louis Cardinals become the St. Louis Rams? And then they became the L.A. Rams? Uh I guess St. Louis Cardinals became Arizona Cardinals. So <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, I think it they became St. Louis became Arizona Cardinals, right? Yeah, it looks they were the Chicago Chicago Cardinals, then the St. Louis Cardinals, then the Arizona Cardinals. Okay, so it's gonna be Arizona Cardinals. Uh Arizona Cardinals, cards hit. Uh just wanted to make sure. So that is gonna be who's got the Cardinals. Who's got the Cardinals? I'm Vikings, Bears, Cardinals is Alex. Alex is taking home the hit. Uh, it is the Cardinals hit. Congratulations, uh, Alex. Uh, Jackie Smith. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. All right. So another win for Alex. Don't worry, man. We got to figure it out. Just wanted to clarify. We don't get a lot of St. Louis Cardinal hits uh, in, in the room. Yeah, yeah. We do not get a lot of St. Louis Cardinal hits. <laughs> Uh, we are good to go on the Roll Tide as well. All right, cool. Roll Tide is coming up next. Thank you guys for filling that up. Thank you guys for filling that up. Jackie Smith and Jim Hart. That's it. That's it. Uh, they are a baseball team, but the St. Louis Cardinals <laughs> used to be a football team as well. Uh, St. Louis Cardinals did used to be a football team, Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Nineteen sixty to nineteen eighty seven. The St. Louis Cardinals. Because it was that long. Yeah. I'm just saying LOL, just kidding. Uh Matt Boyd wants three in the college series. So he's like, one and two are really good. Yeah. Why don't we just do three next? Let's just go right down the line. All right. Guys, I would love to get the minis closed as well. Would love to get the minis closed as well. Uh that is entirely up to you guys. Entirely up to you guys. The cards had maybe the dirtiest player ever in the NFL in Conrad Dobler. Okay. Conrad Dobler. Be completely honest, I've never heard of it. But if Bob Blake says it, it must be true. Uh, that's usually what I go with old school yeah. hits. Uh, Dobler is how you say it. All right, thank you, Bob. The very first picture that comes up of Connor Dobler is him grabbing a Giants guy by the face mask and just looking it straight up in the air. So he might be right. He might be <laughs> right. All right. Uh, Ten clicks on the randomizer for our conferences in the college series. Bye. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Michael's got a bunch early. Michael, we've got the ACC, SEC. Could be that Alabama quadruple sign helmet. Matt Boyd in the Big Ten. Michael Villarreal, Big 12. 
Michael Pack 12. And we got James Strode in the pendant. Need some NFL films. Travis Isaacs probably agrees with Bob by the sound of it. Probably agrees with Bob by the sound of it. All right, let's see what we got here in the third box. Third box coming up. We're going with current conferences. Just to say this again, yeah. uh, Nebraska hit would be Big Ten, not Big 12. Going with current conferences. is a former rival of nebraska we got ourselves steve owens on the jersey oklahoma sooner heisman winning running back in 1969 he is a college football hall of famer uh was a pro bowler and all pro running back as well in uh for the lions at one point so steve owens that's going to be a big 12 hit uh that is going to be uh who else but michael villarreal we had four spots in there michael Taking home Steve Owens with the Big 12. Nicely done. Uh, that is PSA certified on the Owens. All right. Rock solid happy hour show today, guys. Thank you very much for keeping those orders moving. Uh, you guys are awesome. Absolutely awesome. Refresher on the break page. We are six away on the college mixer, uh, eight away on the pick one, get three jerseys, seven to go and load a dice. Uh, we got seven to go and show me the money, eight to go in the slabs, three to go in the minis, and 10 to go in the training camp. So I will give you guys six minutes. It's 539 right now. In the next six minutes, we must close out a break if you guys want to rip it. So Anything that closes in the next six minutes, we'll rip it. Otherwise, unless we are like within maybe if we're like one away, we'll stay on. Like if we're super duper close, I'll give you guys more opportunities. Uh, however, we do have a 7 p.m. show. We are going to reset and take a break for the 7 p.m. show. So you guys have six minutes to close up anything if you want it to rip this show. Otherwise, any spots you got, do carry over to tonight's 7 p.m. show. Uh, we're a little bit open right now on the break page, which is why it is a good point uh, to take a break. But I would love to get that mini done with three spots to go. So, otherwise, Colin, uh, you'll get used to this. Something I like to do uh, near the end of all the shows uh, is hit of the day. Best hit so far uh, in this show. I think we've got some good contenders. I think the Drew Brees slab is up there. Definitely. Uh, I think the Chris Johnson authentic was really cool. Uh, we had what? Uh, Jameson Williams jersey Jameson was cool. Williams, yep. uh, a lot of contenders for hit of the show. Uh, what What do you think, personally? I I really like the Chris Johnson. I Chris Johnson, was awesome. Okay. And so, it was it was authentic too, right? It wasn't authentic. Yeah. Yes, had a yeah. load of dice. So Chris Johnson, to me, hands down, the coolest looking hit this show uh chris johnson that's greg olson let me see where <laughs> and he's left the, break left the break room <laughs> chris johnson chris johnson maybe he <laughs> ran he ran too fast yeah. and couldn't catch him never even saw him he was so fast all right so here's the chris johnson authentic i'm gonna go with the drew Brees slab only because the player name is bigger but as far as sheer look uh chris johnson uh, has to be the one yeah, I'm all about the look, Common. I think that is a sick-looking helmet. Fantastic. Let me see the slab here. The Breeze slab. Here's the Breeze slab that we pulled earlier in the show. Uh, who was the last jersey? Uh, Jackie Smith, Alex. Jackie Smith, a Hall of Fame tight end with the St. Louis Cardinals back in the day. So Drew Brees on the Fabrics card. Uh, for the big contenders for hit of the show. Uh, going Breeze only because of the name. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but CJ2K, I agree. As far as the helmet, it is fantastic. It's it is sick. an awesome helmet. Yeah, and I'd put that Jameson Williams as an honorable mention. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a great honorable mention. I think a great player, very bright future. Like, that's one where, uh, you know, in memorabilia, we're all about value. Mm -hmm. That's one that has a lot of value. Yeah, the definitely. value is going to go up, um, and that's fantastic. Yeah, it's a great investment, I think. 
see two, three years, I think that value is going to go way up. No question. So I do want to let you guys know in case, again, I say this all the time, we have different people coming in at different times. But this, just a feeling, as you see, we've done four of these in the early show. This is going to be the hot series tonight. Uh, we have yet to pull a headliner. We're down to 32 boxes, Colin. We'll bring some more in the room tonight. Roger Staubach, Najee Harris, OJ Simpson, Emmett Smith, uh, Alabama Heisman winner helmet. Uh, that is four signatures. The four Alabama Heisman winners, Bryce Young, Mark Ingram, Derrick Henry, Devontae Smith. That is an authentic. That is authentic. The Emmett Smith is a rep of the helmet. DeAndre Hopkins, also a rep. Ray Lewis, Roger Staubach, a mini. Najee Harris, a slab. So as you guys are seeing this series, there's minis, there's jerseys, probably the two most common things you'll hit, but there is some replica helmets and that one authentic helmet. Yep, yep. So uh, that's going to be the hot series tonight, 32 bucks a spot. Uh, that is one to look out for tonight. Uh, meanwhile, though, uh, we are down to two away on the minis, guys. So I'll give you guys uh, two minutes. If we close up the minis in the next couple minutes, we'll rip them. Otherwise, that's not a bad way to start the night show. Not a bad way to start double box break right off the top. So you guys got two minutes. Close up the minis in the next two minutes. We'll rip them this show. Otherwise, that'll carry over to tonight and get us a momentum box right off the bat. Like that. So either works for me. Uh, either works for me. Colin, how, how, you, how you feeling? How many boxes did we do this show? Let's take a look. It's got to be over 10, One, I feel two, like. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 boxes. Perfect. So I, always, I say we get at least 10 on happy hour. That's a great show. Yeah. Those yeah. are the numbers. 10 on happy hour, 20 on the night show. I can be happy. And we've had some fun stuff. Some good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. That college series, I can tell, is going to be fantastic. Loaded dice, as always. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So uh, a lot of good stuff in the break room. Gonna have a big show tonight. Gonna give you guys about one more minute here on the minis. Otherwise, uh, we can do those tonight. Uh, no chase wheel spin because training camp didn't fill up. Uh, so last call in case anyone wants to close out the entire training camp. I guess the <laughs> wheel spin is losing its cool because we didn't do a wheel spin yesterday. So that's okay. That wheel is on its deathbed. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, we could be safer if we don't spin it. <laughs> it is a hazard every time we have to bring it up here, but it's worth it. It's worth it. All right, 545. We are still two away. We'll carry over this for tonight's show. Uh, Colin, thank you for all the orders. All you guys at home, thank you for ordering. We'll see you right back here at 7. Uh, no time limits at 7. We can be on for four or five hours. As long as orders are coming, we'll be ripping boxes See you guys tonight 